Do Tolkien's elves have short hair or long hair? In the new Rings of Power show, a lot of the elves that we have seen so far have been depicted with short hair. However, what do the books say? Tolkien never made a blanket statement that all elves have short hair or that all elves have long hair. In fact, he never described the appearance of a lot of his characters. This includes a lot of the elves. For example, we don't have a whole lot of descriptions about what Elrond or what Legolas looked like. This is probably why the creators of the Rings of Power decided to take the creative liberty of giving elves short hair. However, I think it's clear from the books that there are four reasons why elves have long hair and not short hair. First, Tolkien never describes elves as having short hair. When you look at any of the characters anywhere in the books, you never see a description of them having short hair. And I really tried looking all over the internet, trying to look all over the books. I couldn't find any descriptions. If you guys know of one, leave a comment down below. Second, Tolkien describes female elves as having long hair. There's a lot of different individual characters that we see. Now, I'm just giving you four examples. First, we have Galadriel. It says, Then the lady unbraided one of her long tresses and cut off three golden hairs. Second on the list, we have Idril. It says her hair was a fountain of gold. By the way, these aren't the only references we have to each one of these characters as well. Third, we have Luthien. It says, and her hair like shadow following. You can just imagine her long black hair was following her around like a shadow. Fourth, we have Nimrodel. There's a very simple but clear statement here. Her hair was long. It's pretty obvious from all these examples that these elf characters have long hair. Third, we know that Tolkien also describes the male elves as having long hair as well. And I'm also going to give you four characters who are examples of this. First up, we have Celeborn. It says the hair of the Lord Celeborn was of silver long and bright. Second on the list, we have Fingon. It says that Fingon wore his long, dark hair and great plates braided with gold. A third elf we have on the list is Alwe. Of Alwe, it says... The hair of Alway was long and white. Fourth on the list, we have Glorfindel. Glorfindel says his golden hair flowed, shimmering in the wind of his speed. It's pretty clear from all of these examples that the elves in Tolkien's world are meant to have long hair. As I mentioned earlier, whenever Tolkien does describe an elf character, he or she is always described as having long hair and never described as having short hair. As if this isn't enough already, we still have one final piece of evidence that is really, really cool. Tolkien's art depicted an elf with long hair. A lot of people don't know this about Tolkien, but he was also an artist. He wasn't just an author and a writer. In this painting that he made in 1928, he depicted an elf. And this is the only time Tolkien ever depicts an elf. And this is the elf Belek from the Similarian. And in it, we see that the elf has long black hair that is flowing behind him. So in conclusion, no, I don't think elves have short hair in the books. This is because Tolkien never described elves as having short hair. Uh, he describes female elves as having long hair. He describes male elves as having long hair. And he even depicted an elf in one of his paintings as having long hair. If you like this video, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. Also check out the awesome artwork and music in the sources that I consulted for making this video in the description below.